Xenoblade Chronicles is one of the best JRPGs to come out in the 21st century. From its rich and varied environment, to its engrossing story, and not least, its absolutely outstanding music. The soundtrack of Xenoblade Chronicles is a masterpiece in every way, and today, I want to take a closer look at my favorite song from the game, Gore Plains, which actually is my favorite video game song ever. In this video, I'm gonna analyze what makes the song so good, how the song fits the setting in which it plays, compare it to overworld themes from other games and see what this song does differently, better and worse. But let's start by taking a quick listen to the song so that you can get an impression of how it goes. First of all, I want to make note of how satisfying the beginning of the song is. The entire piece starts with this ascending violin melody, an attention-grabbing drum beat, but it quickly resolves into this main track. What I love is how smoothly the drum beat transits from this... ...to this. It somehow sounds very satisfying, and it is a great way of introducing us to this song's very groovy drum beat and out of this world melody. Now I can't really explain what makes the melody so great, I can however make note of some of the things that makes it so effective. Most importantly is the use of these very high notes mixed with violins. As we all know, violins is an instrument often used in emotional or sad pieces, but in this song it is used in a totally opposite way being mixed with these very high notes. It's still very emotional, but not particularly in a sad way. It's a weird feeling that I can't really explain. It almost feels like nostalgia, but I know it isn't since I played this game for the first time very recently. The mix between strings and high notes is actually used a lot in this game, at least around this area. Colony 9, the refugee camp and hometown also uses that same emotional violin sound on that exact octave. Just listen! It's a great way of connecting the different areas of Bionis and make it feel like they all have something in common. But the best thing about the use of organic instruments is how they fit the natural environment in which they play. The strict use of organic instruments such as guitar, strings and harps perfectly corresponds to the pure and natural environment of the Bionis. I find it very interesting that when you get to the Mechanis, the mechanical counterpart to this organic titan, the music is super electronic and technological. Check it out! It's a great way of distinguishing the two titans through music, and really makes you understand and appreciate the strict use of organic instruments that plays in gore planes and other themes on the Bionis. It's very well thought out.
Another element that greatly improves this song's likability is the song's very impressive length. The first time I listened to this track, I was blown away by just how much musical content was in this single track. Every time you would think the music is gonna begin looping again, it introduces yet another section with another new and interesting musical theme. I am truly impressed by how much creativity must have gone down to making this one track. There are so many different melodies and all of them sound amazing. It makes the music very unpredictable and in a music industry dominated by predictable and well, boring music, that's something of a rare gift. Putting so much content into one song can have the wrong effect too though and end up sounding messy and disorganized. Luckily, this song is so good at shifting between all the different sequences. A lot of different tricks are used to make the transition sounds fluid and natural. Like this 3 hit bass drum that perfectly takes the theme from one sequence to the next. It's a great way of connecting two different musical themes together and still maintaining the song's momentum. And again, it's kind of a surprise. The listener wouldn't really expect this, it's kind of out of nowhere and it's a nice little break that prevents the song from becoming too predictable and a great little bridge between two different segments. The last thing I want to point out is the simple fact that this is a mashup between such a groovy beat and bassline and an entire orchestra of violins and cellos. I can't remember to have heard anything like this ever before. It's one of the things that makes this song so special. The fact that its style is so unique and different from anything else. It makes the message of the song harder to interpret as well. I can't really tell what emotion this song brings forth in me. It's nowhere as heroic as Twilight Princess Hyrule Field theme. But it's not as playful as, say, Hoenn's Route 110 either. It's not as atmospheric as Mechanis Field, but it still perfectly fits the setting of this huge grassy plain. I feel like that's a reoccurring theme when I listen to Xenoblade music, that I can't really place the music into one specific genre or emotion. I guess it's because the melodies are so amazing, and it's really hard to explain what makes a melody good or bad. It's not like maths or science. Nonetheless, I really do believe this is one of the best video game songs ever created, and I'm glad I got to share it with you. For more videos similar to this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and don't be shy to recommend a song that you want me to talk about. I can't guarantee that I'll make a video about it, but I'll definitely check the song out and consider it. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching this video, and so long, Dekusids.